Okay, here's the modifications I've made to the Brocraft bracket. Sold on Amazon, eBay. Pretty much the only bracket I could find for the Versatrack downrigger. Okay, first of all, I went and got some quarter inch carriage bolts, ground them down slightly on the edge so that, so that they would actually tighten up. They have to go between this slot before they'll tighten up. The stock quarter inch carriage bolt won't do it. The six millimeter carriage bolt that they come with, the head is too small. I'm afraid it's gonna rip out. Rip right out of your VersaTrack bracket. Now it would not be cool. And uh, these feet, I added jam nuts on the outer ones I'm gonna use. And with a 7 16 bit, I recessed these two outer screws which are these feet for support that I'm going to add to it. So we'll go ahead and slip it together. The carriage bolts slam down the channel. Slide that down the gunnel. Put it real close to this corner. That way it could be right there just. And I also added these padded furniture feet so that it doesn't scratch up my gunnel. This, this bolt right here under this one was too long. It was going to dig right into the paint and the gunnel. So I went to the hardware store and got another piece of stainless steel hardware for that one. A little shorter. Let's see. Let's get you right on it. <clears throat> okay. Okay, there we go. It's pretty well on it. Okay, we're gonna put this in there. Also, I'm gonna have to find two more of these in quarter inch because everything comes with its metric. down good and tight okay that's not going nowhere these I want to tighten up the jam nuts I added to the piece here so that vibration and stuff doesn't affect me there's gonna be a lot of vibration I'm trying to run a 10, 12 pound ball on here, so it's gonna move around. This is rock solid. Just these. Throw down the jam nuts. Squish those down. Still looks pretty level. Get them to their snug, I'd say. Tighten up the jam nuts that you add to it. Six millimeter. Uh, what do they call it? One. This is the pitch. Pretty, pretty solid piece now. Let's see. Now we got to add the swivel mount for the Scotty downrigger. Cars removing this first. And it shows this lever for the swivel to be inward to the boat. Finally working out. It won't work 
right out of the box. I wouldn't even attempt it. It's gonna rip right out of here, out of the box. And that's tearing up a boat, so. Don't use the hardware it comes with. I would not suggest it. Okay, this bolts directly to the bracket and it does fit directly. That's your hardware stainless that comes with the bracket. May have to blue Loctite these later. I'm just going to put them together. If they need it later, they'll get it later. So make sure we're getting a shot. Okay. This is the Scotty Swivel Bracket. Snug them down, all four, and then tighten them up, of course. I highly doubt they're going to come loose. Got some pretty big guns on me, I don't think they're coming loose. Okay, now the swivel bracket, latch inward. Start that one, start each one. Where's the other ones? Start that one. Tighten them up until you start them. I guess this is for ease of removal. I really wouldn't feel safe driving down the road with this thing bouncing around. I just heard somebody on a motorcycle hit a counting down rigger on the freeway and crashed just recently here in this area. So don't drive around with your down riggers on the boat. Take the time, put them on at the ramp. Okay, solid. Now, we have a piece that mounts the actual downrigger in the back. apparently so let me look around here maybe I'm the downer <clears throat> yes it is on the downer right here Lots to that pull the wing nut bolt wing bolt And obviously, it mounts this way. Pretty straightforward. I don't think you need instructions for that. Remove the screws. Put the bracket in place. Oh, hopefully they're long enough. I think just barely long enough to be honest with you. Okay.
Make sure everything's in frame for everybody out there. Putting them down pretty snug. Just plastic, so. Double check, you know, triple check. We're not, you're bouncing around on the water. No, we're not gonna go 10 miles an hour when we're getting to the fishing hole. We're hauling balls, you know it. Okay, double snug. Mount the downrigger. This one tilts so you can get to your weight easy, so. Pretty nice downrigger. I think it's pretty much the most popular down here out there. Wing bolt. <clears throat> yeah, so it's got a good tilt to it. You can grab your ball. You don't need a, the rope retrieval thing like a cannon. Lifetime warranty. It's supposed to be real quality. Okay, I'm not gonna get in depth on the, the wiring for this. It's just two wires to the battery, running it off my start run battery. That way it's charging the whole time. And this just plugs into the receptacle that comes with it, so. There's a installation on a tractor boat. Scotty downrigger. Rowcraft mount. Actually, it's come out pretty nice though, so. There we go. I'll show you a test on the water here soon. I think she's pretty solid. You know, like I said, I wouldn't tow with this. At least remove the downrigger, the top of the downrigger. And we try for some kokanee this week. Just and see what happens. But yeah, by the way, this is the boat. Uh, Mercury 115. Good torque. I've had it to 49 miles an hour with just me unloaded. Cruise of 45, easy. Live well, full, everything. Uh, not a whole lot of modifications yet, still. Stock fish finder. Nice deep V haul, rides nice. A lot better than the bass boat. Bass boats suck. I had too many of those things, so not no good. Uh, Ultrax, auto deploy, auto stow. Uh, spot lock, cruise control, it, it has everything. Remembers waypoints, the satellite puck. Awesome, awesome trolling motor. It's the way to go. I could not imagine we fished before without this. Never use an anchor in this boat. Catfish off of that, everything. You can troll off of it. I just don't want to troll for hours upon hours. So we're going to put a trolling plate on there to go with this downrigger. How about we get down to speeds? 2.7 on this alone. So I'm trying to get it down to 1, 1 1.3 with a trolling plate. I'll do a little video of that. But yeah, Scotty looks real nice. Mounted nice. Very solid. It's not going to scratch the gunnel with the little furniture pads I put on it. It's got three points of contact. Looks good. They got to work, guys. But remember, you need a couple of modifications on this bracket or you're going to do some damage to your boat. So I will get back with you on this downrigger. When I tested out at Lake Berryessa this week, trolling for kokanee, they said they're 60 to 80 feet deep right now. 
I'm going to be running sling blades, <laughs> wiggle hoochies, tip for corn. See what happens. God will get back to you. You guys have a great day. And if you got a tracker with that mount, then take time, modify it a little bit, make it right. Don't tear up your boat. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.